Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix dark shadows in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And we got a quick episode for you guys. It's super helpful. How many times have you taken a portrait and your shadows are just too dark? You can't see any detail in the darks, so whether it's in a face or something someone's wearing, it's just so dark you can't see it. Now, we're gonna show you a great technique that involves bringing those shadows up without affecting your highlights. We're gonna show you why levels and curves aren't necessarily the best tools for the job and why we're gonna use the shadows highlight feature in Photoshop to bring up those shadows. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here's our image for today from Adobe Stock and we can see our very handsome man and uh, he looks great except for some of these areas are just really dark. Here in the suit, for instance, I really can't see any detail. Not only that, but here in the eye, it's so dark that I just really don't get an idea of the detail in that area. So we wanna figure out how we're gonna go ahead and brighten those up. So let's go ahead and start off using like levels and curves, something you might traditionally use, and I'll show you the positives and the negatives of using both of those. Okay, so let's grab an adjustment layer. We're gonna go down here to levels. Now, if we wanna make our darks a little bit brighter, what we can do is take our midpoint slider and we can just bring this to the left and we can see our darks are getting a bit brighter. And now we can see a good amount of detail in our subject's shirt and here in the eye. But the problem with this is that it's taking the rest of his skin and really washing it out, doing the same thing with the background as well. You can see it does look good in the shadows, but here on the skin, here in the highlights, it doesn't really look good. Now we can take our dark levels and bring them up to make things darker, or our whites to make things even brighter, but that's not going to fix it either. So we're gonna run into the same thing with curves. Let's grab a curves adjustment level. There we go, and here we can see by clicking here and dragging our darks a little bit brighter, we're basically running into the same problem. Even if I try to make my darks brighter and brighter and brighter, my lights are getting too light. So those are the kind of the downfalls of using levels and curves to darken or sorry, to brighten those darks. All right, let's show you guys a better technique of how you can do this without affecting your highlights. So we're gonna use the shadows highlight function in Photoshop. So for this, you need to make a duplicate of your background layer. We don't wanna affect our background layer. So we're gonna click on our background and hit Control or Command J. That's gonna duplicate it. Okay, now we're gonna go to Image, down here to Adjustments, and all the way down here, it's kinda hidden in the menus to Shadows and Highlights. All right, let's go ahead and click that up and it'll open up our menu here. Now, this is the simple version of the menu. Let's click on the Show More Options and here it's gonna get a little bit more advanced. All right, we're gonna start off with everything down to zero and this is what our image basically looks like straight out of camera. Now, this is going to allow us the ability to adjust our shadows and our highlights separately. So if we take our shadows and we start to bring these up a little bit, there we go. We're gonna to wanna to bring our tone up a little bit as well. Okay, and our radius. You wanna find, you generally wanna keep your radius pretty low and bring your amount and your tone there we go, up until you can start to see the detail in those shadows. All right, now you don't wanna to go too far. You're gonna get start to get some weird effects here, but you can see that it's not affecting the highlight detail in the image. In fact, the highlights are exactly where they were before. Now, if you do wanna take the highlights and you wanna make those a little bit darker, you can affect these as well. Now, in my opinion, I usually keep the highlights where they are because something like this just really doesn't look natural. So I would consider affecting the tone and the amount. There we go, right there. And this is just gonna be playing around, kinda. It's gonna be different for every image that you do. Basically, you wanna find the balance between your tone and the amount. And your radius, I recommend keeping a little bit lower. You tend to get like weird like glows and things like that if you bring your radius higher. So I'm gonna bring my radius nice and low. There we go, and that's gonna keep things looking a lot more natural. All right, there we go. Now, if you do find that you need to change the color, for instance, if you have, if you brought your detail into your shadows, but there really isn't much color, you can see here in his hand, there's not a lot of color there. You can bring your color up and it's gonna add more color back into your shadows. So just choose something that looks pretty natural. Something like that looks really good. All right, bring our tone up. And here we can see detail in the suit 
but it doesn't distract, it doesn't actually take away the detail from the highlights in the image. All right, so let's go ahead and hit okay. All right, cool, let's look at our before and the after. So here's the before and there's the after. So you can see all of the highlight detail is maintained and it brought up the detail in the shadows. So that's it guys, super quick and easy. So instead of next time when you wanna bring up those shadow details, don't use curves, don't use levels, just make a duplicate, go to image, adjustments, and then to shadows and highlights, and that's all you have to do. Guys, thank you so much for watching this quick episode. If you wanna learn more Photoshop and photography from flurn.com, just click on your screen, Right now, big subscribe button, and it will send you more free Photoshop and photography videos every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode, just leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Whew, nice and quick. Easy does it. That's how we doing it today.